We have here a problem from the 25th Philippine Mathematical Olympiad. The problem states that let k be greater than 1. The graphs of the functions f of x equals log of square root of x squared plus k cubed plus x and g of x equals 2 times log of square root of x squared plus k cubed minus x have a unique point of intersection AB. Find 2A. We are given that AB is an intersection point of F and G. And so, F of A is equal to B and G of A is equal to B making f of a equal to g of a and so we also have log of square root of a squared plus k cubed plus a equal to log of or two times the log of square root of a squared plus k cubed minus a. Now to solve for a or 2a, we need to apply some logarithmic properties or properties of logarithms. Take note that we have the following two properties. One is if we have log of, let's say, log of x to the base b equals log of y to the base b, then we have x equal to y. Another property is that if we have log of x raised to n to the base b that's just equal to n times the log of x to the base b okay so if we apply these two formulas or two properties uh, to the last equation above we will have log of square root of a squared plus k cubed plus a equals log of a squared or square root of a squared plus k cubed minus a squared and then we have square root of a squared plus k cubed plus a equal to the square of square root of a squared plus k cubed minus a. Okay, so in this case, you may expand the left hand side or I mean the right hand side, but that will result in a much more complicated equation. So instead, I will multiply the left-hand side by this expression. So we have um, square root of a squared plus k cubed plus a multiplied to the expression square root of a squared plus k cubed minus a over square root of a squared plus k cubed minus a. And then that would be equal to the square of a squared plus k cubed minus a.
what it does is simplify the numerator and so we have a squared plus kq minus a squared and then we have the denominator square root of a squared plus k cubed minus a and then the right hand side uh, the square of square root of a squared plus k cubed minus a okay so notice that this one is the same as this right so if we cross multiply What we will have is, by the way, the, the numerator will be will just be k cubed. And then, if we cross multiply, what we'll have in the right hand side is the cubed of a squared plus k cubed minus a. Okay. Now, the, the equation is simpler. We can just um, get the cube root of both sides so that we will have the cube root of k cube equals the cube root of the cube of square root of a squared plus k cubed minus a. And then this, bring, this, this brings us to k equals the square root of a squared plus k cubed minus a. And then we can just bring to the left side a or negative a so that we will have k plus a equals the square root of a squared plus k cubed. And then this will allow us to square both sides and get rid of the radical symbol or the radical sign. Okay, so we have the square of k plus a, the square of the square root of a squared plus k cubed. And so the left hand side is just k squared plus 2ka plus a squared and then that's equal to a squared plus k cubed note that we want to find the value of 2a so we can just combine like terms here and then solve for a so i'll bring k squared to the right side and then cancel a squared and so we have 2ka equals k cubed minus k squared and since we want again 2a we can just divide both sides by k this this is this uh, we can actually divide both sides by k because k is greater than 1, meaning to say it's not equal to 0. So, if we do that, we will just have 2a equals k squared minus k. So, the value of 2a is k squared minus k, and that is letter letter d